Mayor Rahm Emanuel, where was your apology in 2014 when Laquan McDonald was first murdered? Mayor Rahm Emanuel, where was your apology in 2014 when Laquan McDonald was first murdered? Thank you for tuning into the Black Political Buzz Network, and my name is Laurel. Mayor Rahm Emanuel recently gave a passionate speech in Chicago because he's the mayor of Chicago. And he even cried a little bit. I think I saw a tear trickle down his eye. Trickle down his face. He was so moved and just, oh, he's just, he wants everyone to believe that he really now cares about the plight of black people in the city of Chicago, in Cook County, in Illinois, after there's been public outrage about how he was involved in a cover-up, a cover-up, cover-up slash corruption, in the murder of 17-year-old Laquan McDonald who was shot 16 times by the Chicago police. 16 times as if he's an animal. You don't even you don't even shoot an animal 16 times. You don't even shoot a deer or a bear 16 times. But you shot a human being, a 17-year-old boy, not a man, 17-year-old boy who was in foster care. He was a foster care kid. Shot him 16 times. Now during this situation, which occurred in 2014, Mayor Rahm Emanuel was too busy to deal with it then because he was in he was embroiled in the heated mayor's race. He had to keep his seat. President Obama had to make sure Rahm Emanuel kept his seat. President Obama, who's really good friends, he's really, really, really good friends with Rahm Emanuel. President Obama had to make sure that Rahm Emanuel kept his seat in the mayor's office. So they, you know, they they had to cover up the Quan McDonald's murder. Pay off, pay off his irresponsible mama. Give the Quan McDonald's irresponsible mother five million dollars to keep her mouth shut. So Ron McDonald, so Ron Emanuel, excuse me, so that Mayor Ron Emanuel could be reelected and keep his seat. So that President Obama's agenda for the black people in Chicago. Could continue to be carried out. Now all of a sudden. Black Lives Matter. President Obama's paying these Black Lives Matter activists. To go out there and you know. Raise some hell. And make it seem like they care about black people. For an election. For an election. Like Obama did in 2008. 2012. Then after he was re-elected. After he was elected and then re-elected. He did zero squat for black voters in this country. What has Rahm Emanuel done for the black voters in Chicago? We know he covered up Laquan McDonald's murder. We know it, we know Rah, that Rahm Emanuel closed some schools, closed a bunch of schools in Chicago. We know that. Now he's crying. A tear trickles out of his eye, down his cheek. He's in passion. He's so passionate. He's not going to resign. Now, is he going to resign? No, he's not going to resign. President Obama would not have it any other way. Because he had to make sure that his anti-black agenda. President Obama has to make sure his, that he has the right people in leadership in this nation to carry out his anti-black agenda. I don't care what y'all say. And no, I don't hate President Obama. I do not hate Barack Obama. I supported the man in two elections. But I had no idea that he, that he was going to implement an anti-black agenda in this nation, which he has. And that's a shame to do it to do that to your own people. It's a shame for anybody in leadership to do that to their own to mistreat their own people like that. And he has done so to blacks in this country. So Mayor Ram Emmanuel, he's now apologizing, crying, apologizing, begging for mercy. Saying that black people are, are not second class citizens in Chicago. In Chicago, black, black people would not be treated like trash and second class citizens anymore. Because, you know, th they have thus far. 
thus far, and black people in Chicago have thus far been treated like trash and second class citizens, even by many black leaders in Chicago. Yeah, any the black leaders, the black leaders also treated their people bad. Like President Obama has treated black voters bad. Now, I don't know if Ron Emanuel is sincerely apologetic. I don't know if he's remorseful. I don't know if that's a real, if those were real tears. I don't know if he's sincerely remorseful about what happened to Laquan McDonald. Because he sure paid off Laquan McDonald's mother with that five million dollar check that she did, did not deserve, considering that he he was in foster care at the age of seventeen. In fact, both her children were in foster care when Laquan McDonald was killed because she was the irresponsible woman who let her boyfriends beat the crap out of this out of Laquan when he was a little boy. But yet she gets a check for five million dollars to keep her mouth shut. I don't understand that transaction. No one's focusing on no one's focusing on that transaction. And if you waiting, if you're waiting for Mayor Ron Emanuel to step down and resign, you you you'll be waiting till the cows come home because he's not gonna resign. It's too late. He's been re-elected. He's been reelected. He's been reelected. He's not gonna step down. It's too late for that. If Ron Emanuel resigns, if Ron Emanuel resigns today, will it bring back the Quan McDonald? Will it cancel out that? Will it cancel that check that he gave Laquan McDonald's irresponsible mother? Will it suddenly, immediately, change the plight of Black voters and Black citizens who live in Chicago? The answer to all those questions is no. So, Ron, Mayor Rahm Emanuel, where was your apology in 2014 when Laquan McDonald was first murdered? I know you were busy at that time being reelected, but you but you could have stopped for five seconds and said I'm sorry. But if you had said I'm sorry in 2014, you wouldn't have been reelected, then would you? So we know why Rami Manuel did not did not apologize in 2014. He would not have been reelected. Well, that's all I have to say on this issue. Maybe this situation will make black voters in Chicago wake up and stop blindly voting for a party versus the candidate. I say it again, I'll say it again. I repeat, maybe the situation in Chicago dealing with Laquan McDonald's murder will make black voters in Chicago wake up and stop blindly voting for a political party versus the candidate. Thank you for tuning into the Black Political Buzz Network and my name is Laurel. Have a great evening. Goodbye.